In this video, we would learn about Docker architecture. So, in this architecture, we have three components: the Docker host, Docker client, and the Docker registry. Docker host is the machine where the Docker daemon is up and running. This daemon will accept the request from Docker client and it will process the request. So, the client will send the request to the Docker daemon. There are multiple ways a client can send the request to the Docker daemon. We can execute the Docker commands or we can execute the commands via Docker Compose or we can send the request directly via REST API. So, this client can be in the same machine as the Docker host or it will be or it can be in a different machine. When the client executes a command, for example, if we execute Docker build command, so corresponding build context will be sent to the Docker daemon. Docker daemon will process that and it will create an image out of it. Once the build is completed, Corresponding Docker image will be stored in the Docker host. For example, if you run the Docker pull command, the Docker daemon will check whether the image is present in the Docker host. If it is not present, then it will download corresponding image from the Docker registry. This registry can be a public Docker registry like Docker Hub, or we can set up an internal Docker registry for the organization. There are multiple providers for setting up this registry, like Artifactory, Nexus. For each cloud, we have different registry. For example, for Google Cloud, we have Google Container Registry. And for AWS, we have Elastic Container Registry, ECR. Similarly, for other clouds also, we have different types of registries. So, we can store the images in the registry. And when our application need corresponding images, those will be downloaded from the corresponding registry. In another example, if the client wants to create a Docker container, then it will execute Docker Run command. This command will be sent to the Docker daemon. So, this Docker daemon will process that request. So, firstly, it will check whether the corresponding image is present in this Docker host or not. If the image is present, then it will try to create a container and the container will be created in the Docker host. If the image is not present, then it will try to pull that image from the registry. Then it will try to create a container and the corresponding container will be created in the Docker host. We can also run other commands to create Docker networks, Docker volumes, etc. So, this way Docker uses the client server architecture to manage the Docker objects. Now, let us see some examples in the hands on session. This is a Linux VM. In this VM, I have installed Docker. So, I have Docker client and server. So, let me check with Docker info. So, here I have the client and I have the server. So, for the server part, I have not started Docker daemon yet. So, let me start Docker daemon. So, Docker is started. Let me verify the status. So, Docker is up and running. That means we have the server up and running. So, this is the Docker host where our Docker daemon is running. We have the client in the same VM as well. So, now let us execute some Docker commands. Now, let us try to build a Docker image. For that, let me create some files. So, now we have created two text files here. We will create a Docker file and we will use the Ubuntu image. And we will add these two files to the Ubuntu image. So, for that, let me create a Docker file. Here, I will use copy instructions and I am copying to temp directory. Same way, test to file as well. So, let me save this file. So now, we have three files here test1.txt, test2.txt, and Docker file. Let us try to build a Docker image here. So, for that, let me execute docker build command. So, now as a client, we are executing docker build command. So, let us build this image now. When we are building the image, we can see some statements here. Transferring docker file, transferring context. This means the docker file and the context is being sent to the docker daemon. And using this context in the docker file, docker daemon will build the image. I already have the Ubuntu image, that is why it has used it from the Docker cache and after that it has copied the files. So, this way when we run the Docker build in the client machine, it will send the Docker file and corresponding context to the daemon and daemon will process it and it will build the image. Similarly, we can run other commands. Now, let us try to create a Jenkins container in this machine. So, for that I will use docker run command. So, here we need to specify the Jenkins image. So, this is the Jenkins image which will be downloaded to this machine and it will create a container out of this image. So, let us execute now. 
it is not able to find this image in this machine so now it is pulling it from the docker hub so this download will take some time so now the download is completed and using that image it has created a container now we can see the container here so now it has created a docker container with this id for the jenkins image so this way when we execute docker commands in the client machine those will be sent to the docker daemon and it will execute corresponding instructions here i have shown the docker client and docker host are in the same machine so we also can have like docker client and docker host in a different machine if you want to know in detail about how client and server interaction takes place whether it is in the same machine or in a different machine please go through the video in the below description i hope you like this video if you like the video please like share and subscribe thanks a lot for watching